everybody. We are coming up from the cellar right now. I actually want to take you to a space on the opposite side of the stair hall with some of my favorite graffiti in it. I thought in this video we could look at some of the graffiti of Drayton Hall. So come on in. I guess for a second we should stop and say welcome to the stair hall. That's where we are right now for reference. I just came up from the cellar. Now you're looking at the mahogany staircase. And we're going to go under the staircase. Most of you do not get to see this on the average house tour. But let's go see what's fun in here. You can see this on your regular house tour. This is some pretty obvious graffiti. Um, we don't know who did this or when, but I think it was maybe either Simon or someone who had a crush on Simon. I don't know. But that's not the graffiti we're after. So a couple of years ago, we started to notice that there's a lot of um, graffiti just etched into the plaster all over the house. And so we're in the habit now of using raking light like I'm doing right now and just moving it along the plaster to see what fun things might pop up. Oh, there's a fun thing. See that? And another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, it's getting better. There's more. But then, my favorite graffiti in the whole house is right here. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to try to move my light around a little bit for you. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So this is a little carriage. There's a man, head, body, legs dangling over the front. He's holding the reins right here. Try to get another angle. Here's the rest of the carriage. It sort of looks like the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo, if that helps you kind of make it out. I know it's so hard to get good light on this. I think we've got a good photograph of this somewhere, so maybe we can share a photograph of this with you. Um, so to give you a little context, if you want to back out a little bit, um, there would have been shelves down here. That's what you're looking at in the plaster. So these lines in the plaster show you where there were shelves once upon a time. So if you want to imagine this graffiti being made, I would imagine um, maybe a young person creeping in here and shelves right here, maybe moving aside whatever is on the shelf and doing their little graffiti and then moving the things back. I think that's about how that scenario played out. So other cool stuff to see down here. Um, I don't love, like, love it when <laughs> plaster goes missing, but it is sort of cool to see the lath that goes behind it. Um, in the world of behind the scenes, we gotta move our umbrella stand a little bit to show you. Thank you, cameraman, for good lighting. So this is the lath that the plaster goes on. Um, and this is really cool original stuff and we know that by looking at the nails that are holding it in. So if you want to get really close in on one of these nails. Ooh, ooh, strobe light. We don't need that. Here we go. Check out this nail. This is called a rose head nail. It's hand wrought. So somebody made every one of these individually by hand and it's a rose head because it's got these kind of four petals on it where a hammer strikes it four times. Okay, one, two, three, four hammer strikes. This is really old stuff. This helps you date a building. So this is original to Drayton Hall. 